Usually we associate insulation with keeping homes warm, keeping the heat in. Well, is insulation necessary in a climate like Florida? Absolutely. Insulation resists heat flow, and when our attic bakes to 130 or 140 degrees in the summertime, that heat will radiate down into the living space, causing uh, a big load on our air conditioning system in an uncomfortable home. We can reduce that with insulation. Let's take a look. Here we are in the attic of this Florida home. And one thing that we see, which is a bit unusual in Florida, is that there's uh, some insulation. Why does an attic in Florida that is a warm climate that we're air conditioning need insulation? I mean, heat doesn't escape out of the building because we want to keep the heat out of the building. Well, insulation resists heat flow. It could be in a northern climate, heat from inside the house to the outside, or in a southern climate, heat from this blazing hot roof radiating down into the house through the ceiling. So we would need insulation to stop that heat gain, which is why we run our air conditioning to get rid of the excess heat. So a radiant barrier, properly insulated attic, properly sealed and insulated ducts, properly air sealed attic before it's insulated uh, is the way to go. So what we're gonna do here is do all those things. All homes, no matter what climate they are in, should be air sealed so we don't have excessive uh, air exchange from inside to outside. Some parts of the house are under positive pressure and some are under negative pressure. And air will move through a hole uh, depending on the amount of uh, difference in pressure across a, a, a hole in, in the house. And uh, we need to air seal this house as the first step to make it energy efficient. And where would we air seal? Well, there's lots of places to air seal and the attic is our A priority at Dr. Energy Saver. And we're gonna dig through all this blown in insulation, which was uh, really poorly installed by someone uh, in the past. And we're gonna find all the top plates to the walls. And this is the top of an interior wall. And here's the drywall that comes across the ceiling. And this gap, we have about a 16th of an inch gap coming uh, uh, between the drywall and, and the wall. And we have uh, wires. You can see there's a wire here and some wires here where the hole is about uh, seven eighths of an inch wide and the wires are smaller than that. So we have air space. Now, what happens when air leaks through this hole? Well, in the winter time, if air leaks out of the house, well then we've got to have air leak into the house somewhere else. And where else would it leak in? Uh, well, downstairs through windows and doors and holes in the walls. And if there was a basement or crawl space, certainly big air leakage in basements and crawl spaces. So air from the outside has to come into the house to replace the air that left. And guess what? That air is unconditioned air, meaning we have to heat it or cool it to make it more comfortable. If air leaks into this hole, well then it's gonna be blazing hot attic air in the summertime here in, in Florida, uh, or it could be freezing cold air. Uh, uh, so we're gonna to have to either heat or cool that air. So air, uncontrolled air leakage in our house is something that we have to address in order to make a home more energy efficient. Okay, here we have something that's fairly common. This is a uh, chase, in this case it's a plumbing chase, but we have uh, duck chases that are just like this. And, in homes uh, and it's a big hole where uh, air from inside the house can get right up into the attic where when this attic heats up to 140 degrees that uh, that's basically hot air bisecting the middle of the house and heating up the walls and uh, this is going to have to be air sealed uh, to make this house energy efficient so uh, someone had blown in uh, fiberglass insulation into this attic in the past, but paid no attention to this. And this is typical of what an insulation contractor would do. Just go in, it's easy to blow insulation. That's the easy part. And they'll come in and they'll blow insulation in your attic and it'll take, you know, uh, an hour and they'll be gone and you'll be left with this. But you have all these air leaks underneath the insulation that allow the conditioned air from inside the house to leak out of the attic and now it's more difficult for us to go in and do the job properly because we have to dig through all this insulation to find every pipe and wire hole, every plumbing and duct chase, every top plate of interior walls, every can light to try to air seal the house properly 
before it's insulated, which is the way it should be done. Insulation without air sealing is malpractice. If you'd like to make your home more comfortable, more energy efficient, and improve your indoor air quality, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.